All right, guys. Um, I'm just sat on the balcony. Did a bit of rendering yesterday. Just to tidy up the walls, ready for the conservatory. Um, <clears throat> this was quite a major goal for me in the sense of getting the conservatory finished is basically the last piece of the house, um, which is why I'm looking forward to it being installed before the end of January. Because um, that goal sort of sets a line in the sand for last year as well, because obviously I've already funded it. Um, but even doing the rendering here, um, the guys, I think it was 2,600 they wanted, and I've done a third of it myself um, in a day, and then I've still got these bits left, which as you can see is a bit rough. Um, but that'll take me about half a day. So you sort of think, mm, yeah, two and a half thousand, and I said to April, I can't see why they've sp wanted to spend the money. But anyway, because to be fair, if you could render and got the gear, you, you'd have done that a lot faster than I did. Um, and I still got it done in a day. So you could probably have done it in about four or five hours, <coughs> which meant you could have probably done the whole of this in 10 or 12 hours, which not, neither here nor there. Um, but financially, I know a lot of the guys around here are charging about 350, 400 a day, which sounds high because um, everyone goes oh Spanish labour is cheap <laughs> you find a good builder good luck on that one <coughs> but anyway um, I just thought I'd do a bit of an update just to sort of cover a few topics as well it's, the sun's glaring in my face as you can probably see the beach is looking nice and calm it's Christmas day April's probably downstairs with the kids having breakfast because they were just getting up when I come up had me coffee um, uh, so for me one of the things I've done since I've come on holiday is basically disconnect my phone I leave this phone around the house I'm not answering it um, doesn't matter who's phoning me because um, yeah, on the first couple of days I must have had about 14 15 phone calls I'm like why, why am I answering the phone but now I'm on holiday so I just shoved it to one side and put it off it stopped ringing in, in the last day or so. Um, yeah, I mean, that's one of the things I will say is remember to disconnect. Because um, there is some out there that actually think that you should still be available because of where you sit in the business. Absolute nonsense. Um, it's not my company. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, I'm not making a decision for the sale or... Uh, purchase of the business or buying another company um, it's we can keep all that for the TV um, so it's not my company my commitment is actually delivering what I say I do when I do beyond that not my problem um, and that's one of the things I want sort of want to reinforce is make sure you make time for yourself this time of year for me um, I use it to draw a line in the sand as well just to say last year's last year um, come the 1st of January all this nonsense is gone the headaches have gone I mean you can still take the positives if you want for us <coughs> we, this is the first year in the house um, we've hammered the mortgage successfully gonna have the conservatory finished in the first week of Jan that's already paid for um, so last year in, in that sense was successful the downside um, which is probably where some of you guys may actually be feeling the pinch as well is where you've been stuck in the lockdown um, for a period of time because it's been a bit of a difficult one to actually get back out of uh, for myself because you got used to being on your own um, I mean where I'm in Northampton the rooms about the size of this space here um, and you don't see anybody I mean, a couple of guys now saying exactly the most social people at the best of times. Um, but the point is, you go to the gym, you switched off at the gym, go to the um, restaurants or whatever, not a lot going on. A lot of people were sort of locked down completely. Um, so your social circles were sort of hit quite hard. I mean, if you're living as a family, it's a bit different. But obviously, I was stuck in the UK and April was here. 
So being stuck in the UK for months without even the drive of um, being able to progress work further than I would like in the sense of uh, using all my spare time for work. Um, I couldn't even do that. I got it so far and then um, it was a case of they brought in some village idiots um, and they, at which point I think they're all don't think there's many left let's put it that way I think they've all been pushed out of the business now um, but the point being is you're in this constant battle where you're actually trying to explain everything because they don't seem to understand anything and then they're trying to stick the knife in your back constantly so you got that with the Covid it was quite a difficult environment to be in um, but like I said that I'm not kept my head down focused to get to this um, because this is my exit house is paid etc that drops my cost of living down by a third a month um, but then when I extract from the UK that drops that by roughly a third as well <laughs> because at the moment the cost of the place in the UK is about the same as the mortgage on this um, so you saw downsizing but financially you're actually uh, no worse off because what you've done is you've got rid of the mortgage so as in, you haven't lost anything you've basically you've, you've got rid of debt basically and if I got rid of the place in the UK I've got rid of the place in the UK because I don't work there anymore um, so you know financially you're no worse off you know, you're a bit better off because you're actually home um, and that's where I'm gearing for now and that's what I'm sort of saying new year move forward but there's nothing wrong with sort of saying about you know if you're sort of cut off in the COVID and there's nothing wrong with sort of realising that's occurred or recognising it might have knocked you back for a bit um, it's peculiar because in the sense of it's not like you're suddenly waking up teary-eyed or something. What, what it is, is for me, is you recognise you haven't spent a lot of time with the family. You recognise you spend too much time on your own. Um, so you then try and spend as much time with the family as you can. You try and find more positive social circles. Because <laughs> I say positive because work's often driven around problems and negative people. Um where getting into the positive aspects of life you need to like i said going to the gym is a good one because you know you can meet a lot of people but i find the gyms everyone's got the headphones on. <laughs> nobody really talks to anybody um so it's just focusing on making the most of what you've got it's like this trip when i go back i'll be taking my photography stuff with me i'm going to spend a bit more time doing the cameras um and i'll see if squeeze a drone into my bag as well I did drones as well because I bought, all the, I bought so much stuff during Covid um, I've got two of the, what's it, the Mac the Air, what do you call it, DJI Mini Pros I've got two of those um, and I've decided not to buy any other technology until I start using the stuff I bought um, so I've got to get them out of the box the other one um, spent a lot on like the gaming PC will be uses that we've got the two um, Oculus Quest Pro Oculus, Oculus Quest yeah two Oculus Quest 2's and I've got the Oculus Quest Pro um, recently um, and they were worth buying I've got to admit they were you know especially in the Covid time because you can sort of escape a bit um, but now they're starting to evolve it a bit. Um, it's got some practical features. I might have to get another laptop. Um, I'll have a think about that because I want to do some stuff with Unity. Um, but then I'm sort of getting sidetracked and something that doesn't generate any revenue. <laughs> um, so one of the things for this year, let's just say, we let's just call this um, 2023. Although we're going to draw a line on the sand. Um, my focus is going to be on increasing my revenue and reducing the amount of time I spend in the UK 
to a point I want to get to where I can actually exit. Now, I'm not sure what that looks like yet. I'm still pondering and working it out because the, a lot of things have changed since we originally set up our five year plan. Um, obviously, we've bitten into it quite well in the sense of we've got the house, it's three quarters paid, got, got the conservatory, got full renovation. Um, the big expense is, is pretty much there. But where we're going to follow up next is it going to be looking at apartments, is it going to be looking at putting money into investments, is it going to be looking at um, creating new revenue streams so we've got some consistent income. Um, the point is that's where we're focusing now. And like I said, I've got, I've got my printer as well, I've got to get out of the box because that, that's, that's literally a license to print money. Um, I'm going to make some space for that and start gearing that up and see what I can do with it. Because um, a lot of the stuff I need to do is actually without taking any more time from me. Um, because I, I, when I'm working, I generally don't have it. Or after five o'clock, you just don't feel like it. Because I've got to admit, the work I'm on at the moment, there is so much that all day long all day long everything's a problem everything's an issue in my normal role you don't get that because you're you're planned you're working on like this year's program this place everything because there's just yeah they've got some issues in the business and um it may be a case of I have to look at other options uh, simply because if i ain't getting any benefit of this in the sense of they give me a headache before five o'clock there's no point being there because I'm not progressing it fast enough. I want out. <laughs> you know, business is there for creating this environment for the long term. It's to fund it. It's to find the solutions that get us here permanently. It's not for me to become a slave to the nation. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm sort of pondering at the minute. But that's the good thing about being out in this environment is I've been able to switch off. Because what you get with the work environment, because it's like that, even when you're sort of finished, there's already a problem for tomorrow, or five problems, or ten problems, or there's all, there's always an issue of something needs sorting or whatever, where I need to stop that happening, because that's my focus time to get onto other stuff. <clears throat> want to be like the guy who's just gone down there, he's going fishing, that's what I want to be doing. And not just in the VR. So, uh, just enjoying the sun today. Beaming up there. You can see him. <coughs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, like I says, not everything happens straight away. Not everything is, um, the solution for every problem. So you, you've got to reanalyze stuff and adjust constantly. It's very rare you'll find something where it just goes, yeah, everything's exactly the way I planned it, everything's this, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's, save that to the, for the billionaire, billionaire's books because they never seem to discuss the issues they had in the first years, um, which are the critical ones because it's where you find your path. Because the bit where you're doing that and trying to work your way through it um, is the time consuming bit. It's where you're trying to um, work out how you get to the next level. Um, and they, I, have, I haven't read a book yet where they actually discuss how the, the, that jump. Because a lot of it is simple stuff like say you want a job. Look at the job adverts, what are they asking for, what qualifications, what skill set, what experience, and start working your way into it. Because you can replicate that. That's not an issue to replicate. You know, if you need another qualification, go and get it. If you need more experience, find find a way into that niche if it's something completely different. Um, you know, I'm not going to advise you on it because quite simply the first step is actually probably reaching out to people already in the industry. You might be lucky and get somebody drop you in as a junior or something behind them. 
Um, but the point is, you've, you've got to put yourself out there. Nobody does it for you. And like it says, sometimes you've got to reset. You've got to stop. You've got to start again. Like here, we push forward. Um, I always remember the... Um, what's it? The... Is it? Uh, Patriot. There's a bit in there with the guys on about how do you get through, I think it's five electric fences. And it says one step more. And the, the whole ethos of that is once you're more than halfway, it's one step more. Because you, you push yourself to get through the last bits. Because once you're over halfway, it's easier going forward than it is going back. And that's life. <laughs> um, you can't go back most of the time. Um, but also... The drive on that is, it's like this, once it's all paid for, that's just one step forward. When you buy the next apartment, it might be a bit of financial pain, but it's one step forward. The main thing is not let things take you back and not let things grind you down to a halt, is to push forward. Um, Recognise when things aren't going right and change it. Recognise when um, it could be a bad relationship it could be um, your job's not working out it could be that you're I don't know <coughs> not sure what you want to do if you're not sure what you want to do rather than spend years trying to work it out try a few different things and find out what you enjoy because I'll tell you what likes to be experienced and I've had loads of different types of work over the years because I mean it's like um, when I used to work in construction I used to work in factories in the winter so I didn't have to work out in the cold because I knew a lot of people that had um, arthritis in their fingers so I used to come in I would be paid virtually nothing compared to what my normal job was but I still I still worked because I couldn't sit around the house um, so you've got to recognise, you may actually be better off trying different paths if you don't know, because when you sit there and ponder and don't actually do anything, you're not moving, <clears throat> you're in limbo. That's not a step forward or back, but you're stuck. Experience comes from trying things, and you've got to push yourself out there, because <clears throat> um, nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to knock that door and say, would you like to be a lotto millionaire? Well, you might do, but they're probably not going to give you any money. It's probably your neighbour or a friend. Um, and then they just laugh and you don't end up as a lottery millionaire that day. But even if you end up with a winning a lottery, it's how to manage money as well. It's not as straightforward as a lot of people think. So many people have won the lottery and end up with nothing. <coughs> We're going off on a tangent now. Um, but the key to it is you've just got to keep trying change direction, adjust, and plod on one step more. Thanks for watching. Happy Christmas.